Welcome back to the Defender Special, everybody. You know, you send your kids to school and you have an expectation that they will be safe there. That's why they do things like fire drills, so everyone knows what to do in an emergency. But here's the big question. Are schools practicing for the wrong danger? NBC Charlotte wanted to find out more about lockdown drills and other safety procedures in place to keep your kids safe while at school. And what we uncovered may surprise you. Does it surprise you to know there are no rules saying schools have to have active shooter training situations? Yeah, it does bother me. That scares a lot of parents to think that your child can go to school and won't come home. I did some digging and according to CMS, every school will conduct a minimum of 10 fire drills each school year. But when it comes to active shooter drills, the district says there is no policy or rule in place. CMPD Sergeant Chris Kopp says that right there is a problem. And if we just look at the, the sheer numbers, you know, the last student to die in a school fire was almost 60 years ago. According to the National Fire Protection Association, in grades K through 12 between the years 2010 and 2014, no one died from fires in schools. But killers armed with guns have taken the lives of dozens over the past just few years in the United States. In 2012, a shooter killed 26 people at Sandy Hook Elementary School. In 2014, four people died in Washington State at a high school there. In September of last year, a couple of people died at Townville Elementary School in South Carolina. And just a few months ago, two people died in San Bernardino, California at an elementary school. So you could argue that fire drills are still helpful for other types of emergencies, but they do still get all of the kids outside of the classroom and into the main building.